Welcome back everyone. For those of you just joining, I'm Cosmo and I'm building this 1979 Yamaha DT175 trail bike. I basically got it to a point where I'm just doing small stuff. For example today I plan to do the carb, mount up the exhaust, do stuff like that, maybe, maybe do the clutch lever and the grips on this side. Basically just start buttoning it up. I'm so excited. This thing is coming together super well. It is not the cleanest bike. It definitely won't be the cleanest bike, but not a big deal because it's a trail bike. I'm so excited. Let's get right into working again. So yesterday I left off trying to put the carburetor in, but then I remembered that I have to rejet the pilot jet. The stock pilot jet is a little too small, so therefore I have been advised to use a larger one from, I believe, a Yamaha Banshee ATV, which is kind of cool, because um, I love Banshees, even though it's just a little jet. I have a little bit of Banshee on my bike now. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to swap out some gaskets on the carb that I received after I rebuild the carb. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, I rebuild the carb basically uh, from the ground up as well in one video. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably enough talking. So let's quickly swap out this jet and put the carb into the bike. Pilot jet is swapped out. Just for the record, I went from a 20 to a 25. I got my little buddy here with me. Hey, you gonna help me build a bike? <laughs> what do you think? What's your professional opinion? <laughs> he just wants to explore, but I don't want him to get himself into a, into a sticky situation, literally. Okay, well, you can hang out there, I guess. Alrighty, so now that the carb's done, uh, as you saw I also swapped the little o-ring in the drain bowl, but now it's time to put the carburetor into the bike. Big moment. This is always a bit of a tricky situation. <clears throat> oh wow, I actually got it. <laughs> now I just gotta tighten up the clamps. Finally have a carburetor in the bike, so that's awesome. I think I'm going to put the exhaust in now. It's a little bit muddy, so you know me. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and throw it in. I've also got a little surprise as far as the exhaust goes. Unfortunately, I'm going to reuse the same exhaust studs simply because I have new studs, just not new nuts, and these nuts are well seized on there. So the service manual doesn't specify uh, a torque spec for the head studs, um, or I guess the exhaust studs, sorry, but I guess I'll just do it by feel, and if I feel like it's too loose or I've got an exhaust leak, I'll tighten them further down. It is calling for seven and a half foot-pounds for a six millimeter uh, outside the amateur thread, which that's what it is, so maybe I'll torque it down to seven and a half foot pounds. Alrighty, the exhaust is all torqued down, all all of the points are torqued down, and now it's time for the surprise that I was talking about. So basically, the most restrictive part of the DT175 exhaust, to my knowledge, is the silencer. And I did order a big one exhaust and a silencer system, a full system, and I was going to use it on my future uh, dual sport build. However, the silencer doesn't cost that much money. It was really the exhaust that was the most expensive part. So I think I'm going to put the silencer on this bike. I can always get another one. I think it'll be fine. Um, you know, I'm going to live it up. I'm going to live my best life. <laughs> uh, I do have it here. Right here. And I think I'm going to mount it up now. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm actually really pumped for this part. Here she is. Let's see how it fits up. Fits up well, actually. I just, I do have to put that grommet over it, I believe. And by grommet, I mean this thing. Please don't mind my hose clamp. I am embarrassed by it, but what can you do? When you live in a shoe, might loosen up the exhaust just a little bit. Can you sit here? Perfect. Perfect. Let's try that again. I really got to cut that clamp. 
Now I need the mounting hardware for here. Man, that looks sweet. Oh, I'm pumped for this. <laughs> One last touch though, the final touch. So I really hope they include this sticker to put on the exhaust and not just somewhere else on the bike. But I would assume it's for the silencer. Looks pretty good. Can't tell if there's a outer film on this thing. Seemed like there was, but now I'm not so sure. I don't know why I said sure instead of sure. Ah, this this just might be how it is. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it. Looks good. Boom. Big one. And the colors match the gas tank. What do you know? <laughs> Man, that looks cool. Very, very cool. Now what? Well guys, it's been a couple of hours. I went and picked up my girlfriend and some other stuff. And now I'm going to swap over the clutch lever, clutch cable, uh, possibly put on the grip on this side and swap over the handguard, I guess. Because this, this whole side of the handlebars can be done now because I have everything that I need to complete it. So let's do that. I am going to use the clutch lever from the Ready T that uh, fell off the trailer. <laughs> As you can see, it's ground down, but it's still quite usable. So we're going to use this guy and I'm going to use this handguard as well. And yeah, let's start taking stuff off. So I did a poll on Instagram as well. And the majority of people voted for uh, the red and gray ones. Uh, they are less comfy than the blue ones, sorry, than the black ones. But you know what? I'm still going to try them because I bought them. And I don't think there's a bike that they would match better than they would match this one. So I'm just going to run with it and install these ones. Uh, I'm gonna do the left side now and then wait to do the right side when I'm ready to do the throttle. Should probably use water and soap, eh? Alrighty, hopefully that's enough. Perfect, come on, perfect. Sweet. Alrighty, that's one grip on. Now I can put this guy in. As you can also see, I did uh, some stitching here with zip ties. Now it's time to connect the clutch cable on the engine side. Well, just like that guys, we have a working clutch cable and lever, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's cover that up. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Drift stitches are perfect. Love that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't slice my hand on that. But yeah, everything works. Clutch works. I'm stoked. So to mount the handguard, I do have to make a, I guess, hole in the grip which you know gotta do what you gotta do there you go perfect alrighty so I did deburr this part as well I was gonna just you know make the smooth but then I figured I'll leave it to remind myself to reflect the road marks <laughs> where the DT fell um, kinda silly but whatever looks kinda looks kinda cool right history I don't know what's wrong with my hands today. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I guess this one I can actually do from the other side. 
I gotta stop dropping this freaking Allen key though. I didn't have enough space for the Allen bolts on the other uh, on the other bars, so I did them upside down. Well, there we go, guys. The clutch side of the handlebars is done. Pretty simple when it's just an enduro. No, uh, no controls, no nothing, no buttons. Just a clutch cable and I'm sorry, clutch lever. Trusty old handguard. Looking pretty good, I'd say. Looking pretty good. Sweet. I think I'm gonna call it a night here. I got quite a bit done today. I got the carburetor in. I got the carburetor rejetted. I put the exhaust on, which is awesome. I love that thing. I just, I, I, I can't get over how awesome it looks. <laughs> I got the uh, clutch side of the handlebars done. The clutch is all hooked up. This thing is coming together along really well. Um, there is a lot of small things left that I just got to make sure to take my time with and not rush them. Um, try not to get too excited because I do want to make sure that everything is good to go the first time this bike is out. So, yeah, with that said, thank you guys very much for your support. I appreciate you watching the videos. Please make sure to click like. It does help get the video out to other people. It promotes it to other people. They get to see it, and that helps the channel a lot. But with that said, thank you guys very much for watching again, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.